Hi, Nick Perdomo, president of Perdomo Cigars. Has this ever happened to you? What? You gotta be kidding me. No way. In this video, I'm gonna give you four reasons why cigars burn unevenly and how to fix one of them. One of the reasons is lack of fermentation. If tobacco is not fermented correctly, it's going to retard the burn capacity of that tobacco. And thicker leaves that have more resins are not going to burn thoroughly if they're not properly fermented thoroughly. Also, a lot of it has to do in the fields with improper fertilization. A lot of growers try to put liquid nitrogen in the ground to make the tobaccos grow at an accelerated rate. They do grow accelerated, but it also destroys the cellular structure of the tobacco to burn properly in their haste of growing that tobacco quicker. And one of the things that we do is after we grow our tobacco and we cure it and ferment it and age it, when we make a particular blend of a cigar for production, we actually do a combustibility test on each leaf of that particular blend. We take a section of it and we do a, a burn test to make sure that each one of those fillers and binders and wrappers burn extremely thoroughly, which guarantees that once that cigar is composed and made, that cigar is going to burn properly because the tobacco has been completely fermented, cured, and aged. One of the other reasons is improper filler construction. When you're going to make a cigar, the proper way to make a cigar is super important for that cigar to burn correctly. And improper filler construction, and what I mean by that, is what a lot of cigar makers do in their haste is they book the tobacco. It almost looks like pages of a book. When those tobaccos look like pages of a book, they're compressed and it doesn't allow proper oxygen and airflow. And that's why cigars burn unevenly because the bottom end of that bunch where the, the leaves are booked together, because they don't have any oxygen, they stop burning, okay? And what you wanna do is you wanna make like little tubes, like funnel tubes. And when you look at that filler prior to the binder being put on, it looks like flowers or petals of, of a flower. And what that does is it causes air passage to go 360 degrees because you have pores all over the inside of that cigar. And if you have those leaves stuck together that we talked earlier, that booking process, that's a guarantee of improper filler construction and cigars that are gonna not burn parallel. They're going to burn uneven, they're gonna canoe and they're gonna tunnel and it's very frustrating. But there is one way you can fix it. You can actually touch it up with a lighter, but one of the best ways to do it is when you see that one side that's not burning correctly, because they're pages of a book, what you wanna do is you just wanna push down on that. And when you push down, guess what happens? You open those leaves back up. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your lighter and you're gonna go on the underside and you're gonna light it and that should fix the problem. If it keeps tunneling on that side, take that, that cigar and discard it because basically it's booked from the top all the way to the back end of the cigar because the guy basically made like a spoon, but on the bottom of that spoon, he's got leaves mounted on top of each other instead of having a pour where they have pores all the way around them like that petal of those flowers that I just talked about. But that's one way you can fix it. But if it continues tunneling on that same side, really discard the cigar, go to your local retailer and tell them, look, I bought a cigar that was improperly made and I'd like to get another one and I'm sure your local retailer would be more than glad to exchange that cigar for you. Nobody likes a dry cigar, but even worse than a dry cigar is an overhumidified cigar. And a cigar that has overhumidification is going to burn improperly also and is probably going to tunnel or even worse, just keep going out on you because one, water and fire never mix. We all know that and too much humidity between the fillers and the binders and the wrapper are going to impede how your cigar is going to burn. And that over humidity is also gonna produce musty flavors because of that bead of water and moisture that's in between those fillers, binders, and wrappers. And in conclusion, what it's gonna do is it's going to cause one side of the cigar that might be a little drier than the other to burn faster on one side, which is gonna cause tunneling and canoeing also. It's very frustrating. So make sure that you have the proper humidity levels. And in reality, a drier cigar in most instances is much better than an over humidified cigar, which is really gonna hurt in the burning capacities and in the enjoyment of the cigar that you're smoking. 
And lastly, is improper lighting of a cigar. Remember, a cigar is just tobacco, water, and that's all it is. It's a full leaf product. And if you don't light that cigar correctly and you mislight one end of it, it will really never catch up because it's circumference. So when you light the cigar, you want to make sure that you turn that cigar and rotate it in a 360 degree radius so you make sure that you lit that cigar all the way around and you're going to get much more enjoyment on it. It's not going to fix itself for the most part, like I said earlier. So a lot of times what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to retouch the, the part of the cigar that you didn't light. So it's best to just light that cigar properly from the get-go and you're going to get much more enjoyment and you're going to get a much more even burn. And again, if part of that wrapper and binder and filler is not lit, you're going to have one part of the cigar burn faster because the cigar was never lit on whatever side you forgot to light it on. So remember to always light your cigars properly. It's a celebratory thing. Enjoy your cigars and take the extra minutes or the extra seconds for that matter to light your cigar properly and you're going to enjoy it much more. If you want to know how to avoid this happening to you, check out this video on how to properly light your cigar.